What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay coming at you for my day 12 of my 2016 Warboss Tay painting challenge. So I have uh, already, I realized that I am not going to make my Emperor level challenge because I <laughs> not, it's getting to the end of the month and I wasn't able to do a video a day. I wasn't able to work every single day. I had a lot of other stuff to work on and my project was just too huge even if I could devote a little bit of time every day. There's no way I was going to be able to finish it all. But on the positive side, look at all these Skaven. I'm so happy that I was able to finish them. The Skaven from the Island of Blood box set for Warhammer Fantasy, they are really terrific. And they're, they're I would say they're easy to paint because you can choose a very simple striking color scheme like this, red with some silver. And um, if you, especially if you spray base coat your models, like I did with Mornfang Brown, that really helps. You don't have to worry about doing an undercoat primer like black or white or gray. And just find the predominant color and spray that on and then just kind of work from there. It's really, really fun to do and really easy. A lot easier than I thought. It took a lot less time than I thought it would. I think I mentioned in my day 11 video that I used some Tamiya Clear Green for these Poison Wind Globes. They came out really well. Look at how that just kind of looks like a swirling uh, glass globe of poison stuff. You see? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The lady boss says, mm -hmm. He approves. She approves. All right. The clan rats I showed you in the day 11 video as well. Just showing you the things that I was able to do in day 12. Knock them out. Actually, as you can tell, they're not really finished. They're just base coated with some highlights and some shading. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to dunk all of these in the soft tone of the army painter shades hey and that's gonna give some natural or some, some light shading and some varnishing which i'm really pleased with because i heard it's really great if you're trying to do models really quick this is a tip i learned from ringo simpkins himself <laughs> what sound do they make what sound do these guys make lady boss <laughs> That's a cat noise. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and he's a guy with a pokey stick. Let's uh, let's get on to the question of the day, so I can wrap up this video. The question of the day is: What background character would you like to be in the latest uh, Star Wars movie? J.J. Abrams said to all the extras in the the cantina scene that, that they look so cool in their hair and makeup and all the all the special effects that they were wearing, all their prosthetics, that he said that there could be a movie made about any one of them, with them as the main character. So I thought what it would be cool to think about what background character you'd like to be in any fictional universe. And uh, I would say that myself, for me, I would like to be... Would I want to be a Jedi? I don't know. Would I want to be a... I was thinking it might be cool to be like a uh like on on the ship of the starship enterprise and be in my little red shirt and just be pressing buttons all day i don't know or i could be a i could be a black brother from the night's watch that'd be pretty cool too except i'd probably get cold all day i don't know i don't know what background character i would be if i could be a background character in a fictional universe what would you be lady boss or maybe I'd be like a wizard at Hogwarts. Abracadabra! Nah. I don't know. That's a good question. You have to actually think about that. That's right, you do. Because they're, they're background characters for a reason. There's no there's no real focus on them. They're just in the back and you see them for like a second in a shot. And you think, oh, that's, that's cool. That guy looks neat. What's his story? Mm -hmm. Maybe the Moss Eisley <laughs> Cantina Band. It'd be the yeah, the right. guy playing the 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 clarinet looking one. The <laughs> How they go to practice? They practice their 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 one hit song all day. That's all they do. <laughs> the whole movie is how <laughs> the whole movie is like an autobiographical movie about wonder, how the, how they started the band. <laughs> what what like is music still music in a galaxy far far away? Like. You mean, do they study? Like, do you have like notes and and like music theory and everything? Oh, do they actually study and practice, or is it just like a 
Like they just hammer stuff out and they just blow into instruments and find something that they like. These are good questions to <laughs> ask. So stupid, this conversation. What is music in a galaxy <laughs> far, far away? I don't know. What do you think, Rat Ogre? Meow. <laughs> 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 Okay, this is Warbot Stay, signing off. What? <laughs> you have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs>